Hi guys and welcome to my first PC build guide uh, that I'm going to be doing for this channel Aim to Game. Um, today I'm going to be putting together my first ever custom mod loop for my CPU. Um, the original cooler I had on my CPU and if you check the description you'll see what I had uh, was a Ryzen Tech Triton and that like completely crapped out on me basically the casing for it cracked and it started to leak a little bit of uh, vital juices all over my graphics card which is okay nothing went wrong my 970 is still in working condition which is awesome um, I basically decided to go against the whole one all-in-one uh, coolers and I decided to go for my own and custom build which may not be a good idea because I could actually completely destroy my computer but I have faith in myself and so should you this is the way the world works deal with it so basically I'm going to take you through the parts that I have in my computer and the new parts that I'm going to add to my computer and uh, without further ado first things first I have a GTX 970 uh, Gigabyte Gaming 1 graphics card and uh, that thing is an absolute beast of a card. I must say, guys, this, this, if I was going to recommend a card, and I've had quite a few, I would definitely recommend the GTX 970, uh, especially the Gigabyte Gaming one. Uh, I got a really good one. Some people have complained about coil wine, but I have absolutely silent running with this computer, with this card, and I really, really love the uh, graphic quality that you get. All games I've put through this uh, system have ran almost like completely without any fail to run at 60 frames a second at least that's the least that you will be getting from this card and I've also got a video up on my page of me uh, playing Assassin's Creed at complete ultra settings and even in 4k and that's the uh, N N Nvidia DSR 4k uh, resolution and you get a small amount of lag but the game does run pretty damn well and I'm basically gaming in that video at complete stock settings everything is at stock settings the graphics card, the RAM and also the CPU so it's a beast, this card is a beast uh, moving on we've got my motherboard which is a, uh, a 990FX, Sabertooth 990FX which is really good um, Actually, this is that's my motherboard from a previous build, and I'm sticking with it because the cooling on this thing is awesome. The parts and everything is, are well built, and I couldn't see myself changing from it for any reason because the processor I bought matches it perfectly, which is the uh, 8350, the AMD PowerDriver 8350. That's at stock. Uh, to the right of that, you've got my RAM, which is 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and that's running at uh, 1600 megahertz um, I have just at the bottom there I have a 60 gigabyte 60 gigabyte uh, SSD drive and that's just for booting I also have a one terabyte external hard drive well I've got two external one terabyte hard drives I have also a internal two gigabyte two terabyte sorry uh, hard drive and one internal one terabyte if I remember correctly yeah so without further ado let's move on to the parts that I've actually bought and those consist of at the bottom right corner you've got the monsoon uh, fittings for uh, the uh, three-eighths and uh, one half or one yeah one half inch uh, compression fittings uh, you've got a phobia uh, balancer 120 150 silver nickel uh, reservoir we've got mayhem's uh, pastel red coolant uh, we've also got phobia I've uh, got a phobia um, DC 12 volt pump uh, we've got EK's uh, AMD water block and we've got some flex tubing which is uh, blue well clear blue um, flex tubing which is UV reactive and uh, I'm going to be fitting all these parts in and first things first, I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to have to do once I um, 
cut this video is figure out how the loop's going to actually run and uh, figure out the pipe or the tubing and where that's going to go. So bear with me while I do that and stay tuned.